Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. As promised, I told you I would be heading into the Crown Tundra as our next game. Although, we are going to be doing the Crown Tundra. This is technically the finale of Sword and Shield as a whole for this series, since there's only this little DLC left, and I don't know if they're ever going to be making any more expansion passes or any, like, main story stuff, so this is technically the end of this series when... This is all over, which is actually going to be kind of sad because I've been waiting for this for like the longest time. But with that, let's actually go into Wedgehurst's little train station or, um, and find out what we have to do here. All I know is we go here. Oh, you have a crown pass too. You can also go to the crown tundra. Where would you like to go today? I would like to go to the crown tundra station. So the only thing I know about this... Because I had no... I, like, completely made it so I don't know anything about the Crown Tundra. The only thing I do know about is that the Pokemon are going to be level 65 to 70 from, like, where they're going to be starting in levels. So I only brought one Pokemon with us, and I would like to, like, catch everything from... When, we, when we're here, I want to be able to, like, catch new Pokemon for the team instead of how we did it in um, the Isle of Armor. Because the fact that the Isle of Armor was based on, um, it scaled to your level, basically. So honestly, it's better off that we know what it is first, and then we come in with one Pokemon, and then we're ready, because then we can kind of figure out from there. I like it how it is done in this one, since it's scaled to level 65 to 70 instead of just all around, and you don't know what to do. So this is a lot better, honestly. Um, this might be your first visit to the Crown Tundra, am I right? I'm researching Pokemon biology around here. A number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotting in, spotted in the Crown Tundra, you see. If I update your Pokedex for you, will you be able to help me research which species are appear here? Yeah, sure. Give me all, all the good deeds. I'd like to know what's going on here. The Crown Tundra Pokedex has been added to the, your Pokedex. Um, thanks. Um, do your best to complete your own Crown Tundra Pokedex. Um, thank you, lady. So we'll definitely be doing that um, at some point. Not like in the series, but I do kind of wonder what the um, reward would be. But yeah, this is all I know. All I know is the first battle in here and that I need to have at least a level 70 Pokemon. So I brought, I actually picked out an Age of Slash out of my, um, my battle teams and leveled them up to level 70. So we actually can have something decent to start off with at least. But after that, we're just going to be catching stuff we randomly find in the Crown Tundra. From, maybe we'll do some legendaries, since legendaries are a main thing from the Crown Tundra. I think I'll only do one. I don't think we'll do any more than one, because using too many might be a little OP, I'll be honest. But, let's continue. Um, come on, Dad. Lay off it and quit following me already. <laughs> so these are going to be our main characters. That's all I know as well. I'm gonna go on in a Dynamax adventure in the Max Lair, and I don't need you breathing down my neck. I'm here to battle loads and loads of rare Dynamax Pokemon. <laughs> don't you fret. Yeah, I know it's somewhere way more fun than that musty old place. Get ready for loads of quality time with the coolest dad ever. What a generous and totally unwanted offer. Afraid I gotta say no thanks. <laughs> Okay, I think the main guy is called Peony, I think. Come on, Nia, be reasonable, or get ready to be the ultra mega embarrassed, as I unleash the noble roar of dad. I'll take a hard pass on that, thanks. <laughs> hello, what's going on here? Um, excuse me, hello, um, yes, you boy over there. My dad, dad is stubborn as steel, and he won't leave, leave me alone. Um, bag me up, would you? Yeah, sure, I can help you out. Um, brilliant. Have a great time with this geezer, then. <laughs> wow. Now hold on, lad. Can't say I approve of you biting in blindly. But if I just give you a trouncing, this young lady here ought to be see some reason. The name's Peony. Brace yourself, I'm pretty ferocious in battle. <laughs> Sorry if, um... If I'm a little rusty with the voices, because I have to completely make new voices for these characters. It's not like all my other series where I'm, like, right in and I know what I'm getting into. But these people, I don't know what we have anything. Like, literally, the last series, um, 
well, we have like eight different characters, and I was able to figure it out throughout the game, but these are a little bit shorter since they're DLC stuff, so we gotta figure out a voice and hopefully stick with it. Um, you were challenged by the Pokemon Trainer Peony. Okay, so what you got, buddy? All I know is your Pokemon are level 70, and that's about it. Oh, you got a Comparanja to start off with. Okay, that's not bad. I think I will be fine here. <laughs> Aren't you a brave one picking a fight with a one-time gym leader? A one-time? That's it. I'm a... <laughs> I'm literally the Pokemon League's le gym. Like, the top of the top right now, buddy. Did you, um... Do you not know about that? Um... Let's see here. I'm gonna go Swords Dance since he does have two Pokemon and I have one. So let's kind of like buff ourselves since we do want to be a little careful here. And since we are in the shield form, we should be pretty much fine here. And thankfully he missed, so he didn't even get a chance to attack me. And it looks like we're faster than him, so we don't even need to worry about that. Okay, um, I believe we're two times effective to him with the Sacred, um, sacred Sword, so go into shield form. And this should buff up our attack in order to maybe get rid of the Comparagem. I don't know what we're dealing with. I don't know if he has, like, super high defenses or not. Not bad, not bad at all. But watch out next time, it's my turn. <laughs> okay, you try. But yeah, I don't know if he's EV trained or not, so honestly, I don't know what we're getting ourselves into. I will say that my Aegis Slash is actually fully built, though. Still as tough as they come. The more hits it takes, the more ultra challenges I can take. I think that's what he said. An Aggron. Ooh. Oh, that's actually really good for us, actually. Isn't Aggron rock type? So, yeah, this is four times damage, I think. Um, well, he might have sturdy, though, but yeah, he's got sturdy. So we're fine, but I think the he won't die to hail, I think. He's got some kind of berry. Okay, I'm guessing citrus berry? Yeah, Citrus Berry. Okay, that's not bad. A Crunch, that could hurt us, actually, since we... <laughs> Woo. That could have been bad. Thankfully, we had the Rocky Helmet, so it wasn't too bad. Okay, he's taking Hail as well. Okay, so we're both weak to the Hail here. And we're actually really close here, actually. Thankfully, we got first hit, so that was a GG well played to Peony. One on two, and we ended up winning. <laughs> Although, very close. I did say we- I made sure that we weren't overleveled for this. Um, yes, it's not my place to be bragging. <laughs> you have no bragging for you, Mr. One-Time Gym Leader. <laughs> look at me, taking a thrashing from a youngster like you. Hmm. Looks like, um, your daughter ran off on you. Um, my darling daughter's disappeared. Um, where have you gone, my sweet Nia? Um... Are you, are you sure sweet is the word, or darling daughter, huh? Um, I don't think we should make fun of his daughter, so let's just go darling daughter, huh? Um, of course my knee is the sweetest, darlingest uh, daughter a dad could ask for. I brought her out here so we could bro be a proper father-daughter trimp. Um, first one in H's. And now that we've got he um we've got here, she grabs the first trainer she finds and makes him a decoy. And likes it. That's my dear Nia for ya. That's just her backward way of showing her pompa she loves him. <laughs> um, is it? I don't know anything about him, so honestly I wouldn't know. That's the type of girl she is. Ultra mega charming, isn't it? Um, still without her, I can't start the adventure, uh, advent tour of legendary spots I'm planned for us. She mentioned wanting to have a gander at some place called the Max Lair, didn't she? The Max Lair, you say? Sounds to me like she wants her good old Pampa to chase after her. Well, she would needn't worry. I'm not the one for wasting time. Which means it's time I gotta move on. Cheers for, for, for a fine battle. I'll be seeing you then, lad. Uh, take care of that strong Pokemon of yours. <laughs> Thanks, bud. He even acknowledged that it was just one strong Pokemon and not a bunch. Because <laughs> he could have said Pokemons, I think. Actually, I've never seen them say Pokemon plural. Alright, well... I guess we need to figure out what we want on our, on our team now. I would like some things that are specifically from the Crown Tundra, if I'll be honest. But I don't know what exactly comes from here, because I didn't pay too close attention to the Pokemon coming back. Uh, let's see here. I'm seeing a bunch of Pylo Swines. A Crygonal would be, or a Crygonal would be kind of cool, I think. Hmm, you know what? I might do that, actually. I think the Crygonal would be kind of fun. 
Or we can go for the, um, the fossil Pokemon over here that I saw. Because that would also be kind of cool if we can run that as well. I'm going to go for that. Yeah, let's go for one of the little fossil Pokemon. A Morara. This is from, uh, the one where in Tyranitar, or not Tyranitar, but the, what do you, oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot to heal. Oops. Um, let me heal real quick so we don't just get, like, one-shotted on accident because I didn't pay attention. Uh, let's just heal him real quick because I don't think a level 62 Pokemon is just going to one-shot us, but it's for the better. I just want to have a second Pokemon for our team since we don't have one yet. So, because we're going to be completely building up our team through this entirely, so... This is just so we have at least something to run, run with, and I didn't want to, like, just throw on a run bunch of random Pokemon from my boxes and stuff and kind of like do what I did with the last one because I feel like I had too much of an advantage honestly so honestly I think that this is a lot better than the previous one okay so let's go some ultra balls and hopefully we can get at least something to work with because I can work with one Pokemon I think there we go okay that's all we need for now I think two Pokemon should be fine for now I think this is definitely one of the ones that it did come with the Count Crown Tundra. So I think we're actually perfect, because that's exactly what I was wanting to work with. Okay, Amora. Tundra Pokemon Rock and Ice. Height is 4'3", 55 pounds, and Amora is an ancient Pokemon that has gone extinct. Specimens of the species can sometimes be found in Frozen and Ice. Oh, so that makes sense why... That's actually alive now because I knew that this was one of the fossil Pokemon from I think X and Y or Sun and Moon. I don't remember exactly which one. Um, let's see here. It's female. I think Nessie would be kind of cool because I know what this thing looks like when it evolves. So I think this would be a good Pokemon to name Nessie if anything. So let's add Nessie to our party. There we go. Cool. Okay, let's go and find out where we gotta go though. Since we don't actually know anything about this place, and I'm actually completely blind. Well, I see something over there, so I'm guessing maybe that, since we did get a cutscene and everything. Ah, uh, this must be the max layer that Nia was talking about. Which means my darling Donner is in there, right now having a giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, I just noticed the little um symbol on the back of his backpack actually looks like our Amora. Mm, oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you want to <laughs> come as well. Yeah, I'll join ya. Right, just you hold on, Nia, my dear. Here comes Papa. <laughs> I like Peony. He's definitely, um, he's definitely a pretty hyped person, honestly. Ooh, what is that? I'm seeing some cool stuff over there. I didn't even see the mammoth swine. What is that big, huge, um, orange thing over there? That's cool looking, whatever that is. Oh, there's some cool stuff that we're going to be getting into, aren't we? Okay, sorry, I just wanted to explore a little bit since I don't get to see stuff like this every now and again because I've been waiting so long to actually play this. I had to go through the entirety of, um, what do you call it, um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions before I can even think about doing this series. So, I've been wait waiting about, I think, 30 days after the release of this, so... Yeah, it's been almost a month since this has released, so I really actually want to... I think it's been a month. It could be a little bit less, but it feels like one, I'll be honest. Um, please, sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter's in there, and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure, and I want to kick it off right now. Um, I simply can't allow it, sir. Why can't we go in? Hmm. That's weird. Oh, there you are, lad. So you've come after all, have ya? Um, something the matter? Nothing's alright, um, everything's the matter. This ultra mega numpty of sci scientists insist on getting in my way. Um, numpty of a. Um, I beg your pardon, sir. If you'd be so good at as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril. I'm afraid and. Uh, I've got no patience for standing in here and listening to you rattle off on the fine print. Uh, we're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I could allow you two to enter in as a pair. Uh -huh, now you're talking. Go on then, let's hear what this good lady's got to say. And then we'll go in and find my little Nia together. Right? Right? <laughs> Okay, um, 
I wonder what she's gonna be talking about. Um, are you ready to hear the ex my explanation of Dynamax Adventures? Oh wait, we're really getting into this already? I thought this was gonna be like endgame stuff. Um, sure. That's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Um, very well, then I will proceed. Okay, go into it. My, the Max Lair is a labyrinth underground, cavern that where rare Pokemon dwell the likes, of which normally are not found in the Galar region. Okay. D okay, so that's cool. I didn't expect to do all the legendary raid stuff early. So do we actually get to catch a legendary raid at the beginning of the game then? Form a team of four trainers and set off to explore the mysterious Max Lair. See if you can find the legendary Pokemon said to await you in the deepest part of the unusual den. To take part in a Dynamax adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. Get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they will take with them on their adventure. As you explore this den, you will come to branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, it'll be, be, it'll be time for a Max Raid Battle. Catch the Pokemon and you can swap it with the one you have if you think it'll help you press on into the depths of the den. Okay. To avoid the risk of Galar Particle ex Overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared um, Pokemon for you that are resistant to the Particle effects. Oh, okay. So... Maybe he just didn't want to take one of their Pokemon then, and just didn't want to, like, he just wanted to run in there, and that's why he, she was stopping him. Uh, right, right, I follow. Um, you're saying you don't want Galar losing control so that Pokemon rent some particles. <laughs> okay, and we might see a rare overexposure. Um, that was stunningly incorrect, sir. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you have a firm grasp of the rules. Um, I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, eh? Right, so, like this is all a bit beyond me, so I'll just, um, go on and get cracking. Here comes Pama, my darling, uh, Nia. Sir, no. I've just told you it's too dangerous. What's going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the chairman at all. Wait, that's a weird thing to say. Does- No, he doesn't. He looks nothing like him to me. Well, when you're ready to go chase him down... <laughs> Pardon me, I meant... When you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. Okay, I'll let you know very shortly then. Okay, so how does this work? So we just rent a Pokemon from her and then we can just do whatever we want in there? I'm just making sure we're not missing any, like, freebies hidden in here. Okay, well, let's do this. If you go on a Dynamax adventure, I will provide you a Dynite or a reward. A Dynite reward. Oh, so kind of like the Armorite um, ores. We actually have a new type of ore for the Crown Tundra. Okay. I'll also allow you to keep one, just one of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Okay. Would you like to embark on a Dynamax adventure? Um, yes. Would you like to save your game? I'm pretty sure we have to, so let's just do that real quick. And let's make our way in here. Okay, you're still new to Dynamax adventures, so we suggest trying them alone for now. Just to get a little familiar with the rules before you invite some friends to join you. Well, I wasn't going to have anybody join me anyways. Okay, so I can borrow things. So you get 20 seconds to pick a Pokemon. Okay, um... Let's see here. I like Skullipede, honestly. I'm going to go... Hmm... Uh, we'll go Limepard, actually. I think the Limepard might be smart. Although I really like School of P, I think that the line part has the play rough, and I think we can kind of use that to our advantage. So, this should be easy, I think. Okay, so since we have a Dark-type Pokemon, we want to be careful with the way we're going. So we're going to a Water-type Pokemon at the end. Okay, so the last Pokemon, or the Legendary, is going to be a Water-type of some sort. Okay, let's see here. We shouldn't go Poison since we have the Fairy-type move, so... Let's go Rock, I think. I think Rock seems like a good idea. So I don't know exactly what we're getting ourselves into, so I'm just going to be very careful with what we do. Because you never know the what can happen if you take the wrong paths and things. Okay, so Sudowoodo. So is this going to be kind of like how they were before, where um, they got the shields and things? Or is it going to be a little bit different? Because I'll be honest, I don't like the ones with the shields, I'll be honest. It's been so long since I played this game, um, I'll be honest as well. 
So last time I played was actually with Crown Tundra, if I'll be honest. And the reason was is because um, I've been so busy doing other games and I haven't been able to sit back and just play Pokemon for a bit. So let's see here. Um, I think we should either go... Hmm. Let's go Mac Dar Max Darkness, I think. We can lower its um, special defense and maybe we can use that to our advantage. Because of the fact that we have a Zot 2 and we also... Oh no, Cofagrigus is attack based and Skullipede is as well, but eh, we'll at least boost up what the Zatu can do, so I guess we'll figure out as we go along, since I don't exactly know exactly what we're getting ourselves into yet, since this is my first time ever doing any of these. Okay, so we can poison them, so that's good to know that you can status affect these guys, because I wasn't sure if that was going to be changed or not. Do we have to worry about, like, stat raises as well? Because I know the, um, the other Dynamax, um, things that we fought in the previous, um, when we previously played that they were able to get rid of your stat boost and stuff, like, immediately and everyone on the room, um, on the floor couldn't even use that, so I do wonder how this is gonna go. So now he's poisoned and confused, so that's actually really good for us. So far, no shield, which seems pretty good, I think. Okay, I guess we just keep smacking him with max, um, max darkness then. That's the best thing I can think of. Okay, max darkness is definitely the thing we want to do. Okay, now he's half in, half in his HP. I'm still not sure if his shield's still coming up or not. Simple beam, that's going to get rid of his sturdy, which he wasn't even going to be able to use anyways since you have to be one-shotted to be able to use your sturdy anyways. Stomping Tantrum. Okay, there goes the mummy ability. Okay, well, I don't feel like mummy. <laughs> I remember it not really doing much, so it really doesn't even affect him, I'm pretty sure. Well, the thing has like zero special defense now, I'm just gonna be honest. Suddenly, all of our moves are physical-based, but we can work around it, I think. I might, um... I don't know if we should swap out into the Sudowoodo, because it did say when we, um, if we catch a Pokemon, we can swap out what we have for the Pokemon that we catch. So honestly, it could be a really good idea to maybe catch this thing, so let's see here. Um, I don't know if there's like catch rates here, so we're going to try a Pokemon, and if it does catch it immediately, then we know that the catch rate is a 100% or not, because that's what I need to know, because... If I throw a Pokeball, I want to be sure that it's actually going to catch the Pokemon. Okay, so it is 100%. Okay, cool. So I don't have to worry about getting to the end and then the legendary Pokemon randomly breaking out at the end. Okay, cool. I was actually kind of worried about that. Um, I definitely want to get rid of this um, Lightbird, I'll be honest. So let's see here. We got Stone Edge, Stomping Trantrum, Iron Defense, and Body Press. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, I'll definitely take the pseudo -Wudo. Um, the line part's fine, but it could have been better. Ooh, is that a Flygon over there? I didn't even see him. Okay. Oh, you can actually see the Pokemon you're about to fight. Um, I can't... Oh, that's a Stunfisk. And I... That's a Sand Slash. Okay, so they're both ground, so honestly, let's just go the easier one. Stunfisk is a lot easier than a Sand Slash, if I'll be honest. Okay. So, I've also noticed that there's, like, um, people in the middle areas, so I don't know what that does either. Like, if you meet up with them, you get, like, free items or something. Because I am noticing, like, um, researchers and stuff on the pass ahead of us. Or if that's just, like, added just to give us something to look at. Okay, well, we can go Stomping Tantrum since this thing is a weak to electric type. Or, it is an electric type, so it's gonna be weak to ground type moves even though it is a ground type itself. So that's actually really good for us. Although the Sand Slash would have been good for us as well, since that is, I think, rock ground. Good thing we have Sturdy. Ouch. <laughs> I kind of felt like that was going to be coming, honestly. Wow. That hurt. And now we're static. Now we literally um, get knocked out next turn, and we don't get a chance here. Well... Uh, I don't know what we're going to be using the Wonder Room for, but thanks, I guess. I don't like Pokemon with status abilities, honestly, when it comes to these, um, to these, because they like to spam them, based on what I remember. 
like, um, what do you call it, Wamba Fett back in, um, the normal Dynamax battles. Yeah, Wamba Fett was one of the worst things to get on your team. And I do not want to be getting that ever again, I'll be honest. Well, thankfully he's confused now, so he won't- he may not hit me, but there's always a chance for it. As long as my team actually attacks this thing, I think we'll be fine. And thankfully we actually got the poison as well, because that'll actually help us every turn, because he'll be taking more and more poison damage throughout the entire rounds. Um, it, there's literally no reason for me to ever Dynamax, though, I'm just gonna be honest. My 1 HP is not gonna give me any health when I have Dynamax, so I might as well go down first and then use my Dynamax if I even survive the next attack, or even if I go down or something. Okay, so they do get rid of stat boost. Okay, well that's good to know. He's going for Earth Power on Skullipede. Thankfully he survives that. I like how his Skullipede survives, but my um, Sudowoodo barely survives one attack from that thing. Okay then, makes sense, I guess. Okay, well, I am the Dynamax power now, but honestly, I don't think it helps me at all here because of the fact that we literally get nothing out of it in hell. Because it's a one-shot, I'm just going to be honest. Even if we were to Dynamax, we'll literally go down in one hit since we are technically weak to this thing. Since, due to the fact that we are a rock type. And down goes Sudowoodo. Sorry, buddy. I kind of felt like that was going to be coming. <laughs> Okay, well, at least we don't have to worry because he needs to knock out four people in order to even knock us out of here. And down goes the Stun Fist, so we can add this guy to our party if we want. Can my teammates swap out as well, or is it just me? Because I would like them to maybe swap out their Pokemon as well, if at all possible. I just thought of something. Since we did go um, ground type, we gotta hope that we maybe get. Or we went rock type, but this is also a ground type, so maybe. Maybe getting a Pokemon that will help us with the um, water type at the end of this would be very nice. Uh, I know this would be technically better because of the fact that it's. Um, what do you call it? Since. Although he's good. Thunderbolt's gonna be helpful for the final fight, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go into Stunfisk, I think. I think that's a good idea. And it also comes with Muddy Water and a ground type attack as well, so technically that's really good. Okay, so we can either go. Is that Giggle Okay, that's Bulldor. That's um That's Squirpy's evolution, and I can't tell what that is. Okay, well let's go poison. Since we do have a ground type, we can actually um, completely mess up that thing. I think it's a quillfish, I think. It looks like one, but I can't tell entirely because of the fact that the the picture was a little hard to see. Okay, so it was right. Okay, cool. I was thinking that I always thought quillfish's uh, first of, um, first typing was water for like the longest time. Okay, well that's good to know. So we know now know that Quillfish is going to spawn in the po in the poison section for these. Although who knows if we'll ever see a Quillfish again on this, because I don't know how many of these we're going to be doing. Why do I keep being last on this? Oh, I'm seeing something bad here. Okay, so the Cofagrigus and the Scolipede didn't actually heal. I'm noticing that right now. Okay, so you you need to be very careful. Okay. Um, let's see here. We can either go Thunderbolt or we can go Earth Power. Um, is there a better way to see this, actually? Let's look at our stats if we can, because we don't know exactly what we're running here. Let's see here. 143 Special Attack. 99 Attack. Okay, so he's really good in Special Attack moves. Okay, cool. I think I can figure out from there. So whatever's strongest on our Special Attacks. Oh, both are basically the same. Um, I'm gonna go... Oh wait, he can't be poisoned, so we might as well just paralyze him if we can. It'd be actually really- it would actually be huge if we actually paralyze this thing. Cause then it might lose a couple turns as well. Uh oh, he's going into sword stance, that's actually really bad. Oh. Okay, um. What do we do when that thing gets plus six and starts one-shotting all of us? <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I don't have an idea of what to do. Thankfully we're ground type, and he might not have any water type moves. Because there's always that chance, but that is a little scary, I'll be honest. Okay. Well, I think we're fine for now. Um, let's just go for another Thunderbolt. Since 
it looks like we do have the perfect combo for this, since now we have the electric type moves to deal with it, um, to deal with this thing in general. And also, I've noticed that the Zatu's been, um, what do you call it, confusing everything on the board, and that's actually really good. Well, down goes the Scolipede, which technically is bad and technically is good, because now that it's knocked out, it's going to be fully healed, I'm pretty sure, when it comes back for the final fight with whatever our legendary is. I hope it's something good, though. It could be pretty much anything, I think. What legendary water types can I think of? Mm, normal Articuno. It could be... Hmm. Trying to think of something. Well, we can get Suicune, we can get normal Articuno. Oh no, Articuno's ice type. Wait a minute. Pfft. Okay, just forget what I said. Kyogre or something like that. I can't believe I said Articuno. Uh, it's like it's my first Pokemon game all over again. Which technically, in a way, it technically could be said like that because it has been so long. Ow. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. I'll be honest. That definitely hurts. And it's, I'm 100% that was because of the rain and not because of the Pokemon itself. Okay. Well, we can get the Quillfish now, so let's technically catch this thing. I don't know if we'll use it, but it will go into our party as Pokemon we can um, take home with us. So we might as well catch it, although I'm pretty sure the whatever legendary we get is going to be the Pokemon that ends up being which one we end up taking home, I'm going to be honest. Okay, I actually hope it is a Kyogre though, that would be kind of cool. Let's see here. Liquidation. It wouldn't be smart for me to swap into a water type. I'm gonna see if one of these guys might want to grab this, so I'm gonna be good without it and see if they do change. Okay, they do. Okay, so that's a strategy I didn't know about. And I also notice that you can get berries as well. Okay, so you want to take certain paths. Okay, I'm understanding it now. Oh, oh, hello, Suicune. Well, that was one of the only ones I could think of for legendary water types out of the ones out of the pool that I can think of. So honestly, it wasn't too surprising since I knew it was going to be a legendary. Because literally, I can only think of Suicune and Kyogre in that time. Okay, well, that's kind of cool though. I'll definitely be happy with that. Um, I do feel like we should Dynamax at least. And um, let's go Max Lightning. I feel like that would be a smart idea. That thing's definitely probably going to be faster than the, my poor um, defenseless Stunfisk, but I think we'll at least survive one hit if we at least Dynamax, I'm just going to be honest. Or we might get unlucky and get completely um, um, stomped, I'll just be honest, we might get stomped here. We're about to find out, so hopefully this doesn't go bad. Well, as long as we get a Toxic in, that would be nice. Cool. Now he's poisoned for the rest of the, the entire battle, which is really good. He's going for Calm Mind, so he's going for Stat Boost instead of attacking. Which technically is a bad thing, but we're, we might be fine with that. As long as he doesn't like go too hard on it. And our Quillfish is going for Swords Dance, which is one of the worst things you could do in a Dynamax fight. And, ooh! Wow, this Zatu is really good, ain't it? It's hit every single confusion that it's trying the entire time we've had him. That's actually a really good bot for us. I'm just gonna be honest. Okay, now we have the max lightning effect on the field as well. So that should increase the damage that we do with electric type of moves, I think. I think that's what exactly what that does. I haven't really used that type very often. Let's see here. Does it say exactly what it does? Because I've never actually paid attention to what the terrain stuff does. If I'll be honest. Technically he has it as a move normally, but I can't look at it when Dynamax, sadly. I was kinda wanting to check when that actually does, but I guess I guess not. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest, I really kinda want to know what that actually does. Um, I guess max lightning again. It's the only thing I can think of. As long as we're doing some kind of super effective hit here, I think we'll be fine. Because he's gonna try and sweep us, and that's what he wants to do. So he used Calm Mind to use Liquidation. Smart. Pretty smart, I'll be honest. That's a physical based move and you completely um, raised your special attack for a physical move. And your special defense, I'll be honest. You still got your special defense out of it, but you could have just used um, anything else, <laughs> I'll be honest. 
I don't know, something other than that would have been probably better for you, Suicune, I'll be honest. Okay, this is our last Max Lightning we can go for before we're going to be technically at the disadvantage because we won't have our Max Pokemon anymore. So, hopefully we can survive a little bit. Okay, he's going for... Okay, well, rest in peace, Golapeed. Well, at least he got to be on the field for a little bit. He got a Toxic down. Oh, wait a minute. That was his first knockout, and we're already getting close to that? Oh, can you only go get knocked out so many times throughout the entirety of it? I didn't know that. Oh, so this is actually harder than I thought it would be, if that's the case. Because that, that was the final bit where... um. I'm pretty sure um, if we got we get one more knockout, we're actually down down for good. Okay, well, Suicune might be faster than us, and we might actually lose here. I'm just gonna be honest. Well, let's find out. He's going Max Geyser. He's definitely going for me. I'm just gonna be honest. Oh no, he didn't go for me. That was really stupid of you, buddy. You literally could have just got me off the field. Okay, now we have Rain and Electric Terrain. Which isn't the worst thing. He's going for the Zatu again. Zatu's out. Let's see here. If we get pushed out, then that, that answers my question. Oh, yep. There it is. Well, that's unfortunate. Wow, so this is actually really situational. Well, we didn't get the Suicune, but at least we got through the rest of this. Let's see what we can grab from this. So we can actually take any of these for our new Pokemons. So... Let's see here. I don't want Sudowoodo. That thing... Uh, that one was really bad, I'll be honest. Um, I'll take the Stunfisk, I think. I think he looks pretty cool, I think. Let's see if any are shiny, because I don't know if you can get shinies from this or not, so... Might as well check. No, nope, nothing shiny. Okay, we'll, we'll be taking the Stunfisk then, I guess. Okay, buddy, you're coming with me. You handed over the Pokémon you rented and the Pokémon you didn't select to the scientist. I got some Dynite Orb. Investigated the den times three. Okay. So we got only three out of that. And then we got a stun fisk out of it. Um, I don't know what to name you, so let's name you Liz. I think that sounds fine. That definitely sounds like a decent name since I don't have a name for you yet. But cool, at least we got something out of that. You decided to head back to the entrance, keeping an eye on the way. Um, maybe you'll spot Peony's daughter somewhere. Hopefully so. So even though we lost, we didn't actually lose, because we still progressed the story. Okay, that's at least good. So as long as it, you don't have to win, and that's at least good. So at least we know what to do next time. We want to make sure that we go to the scientists, or the people that we see further in the Dynamax Adventure uh, cave, and then maybe grab the items along the way as well, because I saw berries and scientists and stuff, and I think they give you stuff if you actually run into them, but you have to go down the certain paths to get to them. I'm guessing the ones that you go to um, are harder than the other paths, and it actually makes it probably harder for you to win as well, because you're going down the paths that don't actually help you, as what I noticed. Um, hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for the Dynamax Adventure 2? Wicked. Um, guess we're on the same wavelength. Hello, Peony. It's been our Peonia. Oh. Okay, so that's your name. I'm Peonia. Nice to promptly meet you. Um, what about you? What's your name? Um, Watcher named Spooks. What the heck does that mean? Watcher? Um, I'm Spooks. I'm just gonna go with the normal one, because I don't know why I would say Watcher. Um, wow, what a perfect name for you. It really suits you. <laughs> thanks. So is my dad on his way here, too? I haven't seen him. He's he Has he cut, turned around and wound up back at the entrance? Um, listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mud mudberry. Um, things go all right after I left. Okay. Um, wait, you beat my old man. You sure pulled a blinder there. Um, he used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on holiday, he's no pushover. Hmm, wonder where he's a gym leader for. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he planned for us to check out the local legends of this. Um, super intense adventure tour, or adventure tour, as he calls it. But, I mean, come on. What a girl, what a girl my age would be caught dead doing, um, some naff thing like that. With her dad. 
Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Uh, the thrill of battling one of those massive towering Pokemon. Just thinking about it gets me pumped up. <laughs> hmm. You know what? I just had a thought. You are a pretty fierce trainer, right? Then I bet you could handle taking a pl my place um, on my old man's inventory. Um. Hmm. Rather not, thanks. Wow, that's rude. Um. Sure, he seems like fun to hang out with. Sure, sounds like great fun. Sure, I'll do it. Um, too right it does. It's a brilliant idea if I do say myself. He's so hyped out about all this, it'd be a shame to just leave him on his own. And you know, um, who knows? You could end up running into a legendary Pokemon. Um, how about I meet back up with you two after I've done, um, had my own fun in the Max Lair? Go on then, um, enjoy your two some Toy of Legends. Tell my old man all and the deal and all that. Okay, we'll definitely do that. Um, well, see you, Peonia. Kind of funny how they both have similar names, so it actually kind of um, fits. So he literally gave his daughter basically his name added, took out the Y and just put an IA at the end. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oi! Hey! Hey, 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 buddy. You okay? Uh, oh, it looks like uh, him not taking the safety precautions ended up with him getting knocked out. Um, are you okay there, Peony? I hurt some. An Ultra Mega hurt some. Nia, where's my darling Nia? Um, are you alright? Yeah, are you? This fine gentleman appears to be have, um, tripped on a rock and struck his head. Um, adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I've learned that first hand now. Um, first hand, I mean. I was checking to see if my little girl was beyond some rocks, and look how I, I've um, ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly coly, sir? <laughs> yeah, she's definitely a lot bigger than a small rock. Um, there you, there we go, I'm up. No little bump's gonna keep me down long. That kid's got me feeling right as rain. How about it then, lad? Do you find my darling, uh, did you find my darling Nia? Um, well, here's how it went. I'll uh, tell him exactly how it went. Hmm, you don't say. So, dear Nia sent on staying away. Until she's had her fill of this Dynamax adventure stuff. Hmm. Well, that's a rip for you, buddy. And she wants the, the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on a grand Bioni Venture inventor. You know, I burn burn the candle at both ends, working out the best it, itinerary I could f could for my dear Nia's sake. But I guess she's at the age when she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time, and trying to press her into doing what I want to do. Probably won't win me any d any dad of the year awards. <laughs> Oof. Right then, uh, what's your name, kid? My name's Spooks, bud. Uh, cheers, Spooks. My name's Peony. Wait, um, have I already told you so? <laughs> yep, you have. Then it's twice as nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely nice to meet you. Ooh, we got his league card. You put, um, Peony's league card into your album. I want to check that out, actually. Let's have ourselves a such a smashing adventure. That's my dear Neil be itching to join in on the fun. Um, yeah, let's. Yeah, let's definitely do that, buddy. Now that's an ultra mega great response. Just what I was hoping to hear. <laughs> We're going to have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So that's decided. Now then, Spooks. Let's get ourselves to Freezington. It's a town just a short ways off. Oh, is that the little house that I saw over there? Oops, I accidentally pressed the button. I'll fill you on on the details once you get there. Um, I say let's uh, reconvene uh, both haste. Huh, <laughs> just posting, pulling your leg. Um, can you imagine if I actually talk like that? Ha ha ha. Um, see you later, buddy. See you later. I actually wonder what this game would have been like if it actually had voice acting. <laughs> Since I definitely would have, um... Because there's certain cutscenes in the normal Sword and Shield game that I actually feel like should have been voice acted, honestly. They're way too fast for someone to actually, like, voice on their own. And also, I think I just saw a TM up there when he was running past this place. Okay, so yeah, in that place that I saw earlier, it wasn't a town. It was It's a town and not actually a house. I actually thought it was just a house. That's why I didn't go any further, but I actually didn't want to skip ahead on him. 
So let's actually go to this uh, TM over here. What could this be? Hello. What's in here? Cosmic power. Oh, cool. I'll take it, I guess. Always um, useful, I guess. Oh, hello, little Snom. Cool to see that Snom's um, one of the main Pokemon here, since... Although, Snom was on our original team and we shouldn't run another one. I do think it's kind of cool that we actually ran into it again, since it definitely fits the theme of this area, if I'll be honest. Um, I don't know if we could, should keep heading on in this episode, since we did do that all that Dynamax Adventure stuff. I don't know how big the next part of this story is going to be, because I do like to keep them, like, in a good spot so we don't go too much into it. Because if we, I want to have, like, so it makes sense in the next episode when we actually run into it again, and he has some new story for us when we come back. So, yeah, I just want to make sure we don't, like, forget about it in between episodes. So, thank you all for watching today's episode. It was actually really fun coming back to this game. I know I'm a little rusty, and I gotta kind of remember what I was doing with this game originally. So, it will take me, it, it was going to take me this episode to kind of, like, refresh my memory and kind of understand what we were getting ourselves into with the Dynamax battles and stuff like that. So thank you for understanding. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And in the next one, I won't be as rusty and we'll actually be completely ready to continue on with our little journey with Peony and doing some nice adventures. So I'll see you all in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day and keep being spooky. Peace out, boys and girls, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out guys.